Good morning. Uh, my name is Laura Berishva and I'm a teacher of English in Nazarbayev Intellectual School of Astana. Today we are going to talk about uh, writing articles, specifically about, your, about writing a newspaper article on the theme natural disasters. The chosen topic would actually help us to um, identify the main area of our focus. So let's start. The first thing uh, that we need to pay attention while writing an article is about the headline. Headline is the first thing that uh, actually catches the attention of the audience and probably would uh, help the audience to buy the newspaper, to read the article. And this is uh, only the way that you can be really famous by writing this article. So, uh, to be really successful and eye-catching, tabloid headlines should contain some of the following elements. The first one was about short and snappy phrases. So, as you may, uh, as you may have noticed, in uh, nearly all the article, uh, in nearly all the newspapers, articles usually contain very short headlines, like um, "U.S. Marine uh, was found," or um, "Terrorist attacks in Paris," and so on. So, um, the main aim of these phrases is to catch the attention of the people. So, uh, and usually the uh, main uh, topic of the article serves as a short phrase for the headline. The second one is about puns or plays on words. You can also play on words. Um, um, different uh, words can serve uh, in order to uh, catch the attention of the audience. Um, you can add some humor into the headline and by that even the uh, most serious uh, situation can become really attractive to the audience. And then an element of intrigue. You can also uh, make up your headline in the form of a secret uh, so that the audience could uh, again become interested and uh, read the newspaper. This is also about the lead. The, usually we call the first uh, thesis statement sentence as the lead. This is the first sentence of a newspaper article and the most important sentence in the article. So, after being uh, caught with an interesting headline, the uh, people usually start reading the article. And the first sentence that they uh, pay attention to is the one that could uh, first decide whether the person is going to continue reading the article or he would just stop there and throw the newspaper. Um, the main features of uh, the lead sentence is about answering who, what, when, where, why and how. So if this is about terrorist attacks in Paris, the first sentence must inform the reader about who did the terrorist attack and what uh, they specifically did there, when did it happen, uh, where specifically in what part of Paris it happened, uh, probably uh, you could either find or uh, not the uh, reasons for that. Uh, usually uh, most newspapers uh, convey this and say that uh, the consequences and the reasons of the attacks are still uh, in the uh, way of research. So you can either find or not find this information and uh, you can um, ne you need to uh, specifically describe how does that happen. Uh, usually this is a typically long sentence because it contains so much information about, uh, about the person, about the place, about the time, about the reasons and the um, uh, ways uh, the action happened. Uh, another thing that I would like uh, to really pay your attention to is about the pyramid. So, uh, we need to place the most important facts at the beginning of the broadcast and additional information needs to be mentioned in order to of descending importance. So, if we are talking again about terrorist attacks in Paris, uh, the most important facts about this attack as uh, the people involved, uh, about the countries involved, about the reasons the uh, attack happened, and probably the time and place uh, usually go in the very beginning. And then you can also add uh, any additional information like um, where did it happen except for Paris, um, what uh, also the number of victims in other places can be mentioned as an additional information 
in the very by, by the very end of the article. Uh, this is um, done because people often don't read an entire article and need the in, uh, important information quickly. Yeah, in the era of uh, technology and uh, fast-moving events, we do need to save our time. That's why uh, the people uh, at the same time uh, want to be informed about all the events, uh, but they don't want to waste much of their time on this. That's why uh, the most important information needs to go first. Functions. So uh, what are the functions of a newspaper article? The first is about explaining, interpreting and sharing with readers about the current hot topic or about a successful person. So in our case, this is about informing the people about the fact, about the uh, accidents that happened in Paris and it could uh, be considered as a very current hot topic. The second one is about providing detailed information about a particular person or thing or event. In our case, this is about a uh, terrorist attack in Paris, which is a very interesting and important topic for people to know, probably for their safety. And um, we are going to give uh, detailed information about uh, this event. The second uh, is about the context of use. So the current topic focus uh, for each issue of newspapers or magazines. Um, newspapers and magazines usually um, are usually published daily or weekly. Uh, so for daily newspapers and magazines, it is really, really important to be uh, the first in the place where any events happened and to inform the people um, about the event uh, before all the other newspapers and magazines. So in this case, uh, I suppose uh, if a terrorist attack happened in Paris uh, tonight, uh, all of the newspapers and magazines could be really interested in uh, informing the people uh, about this event. Any types of topics which readers find suitable and interesting to read. But um, new newspapers uh, don't always contain the type of information that is really hot and urgent. Sometimes when the when the world is peaceful, which is um, unfortunately uh, very happen very rare, um, readers can find any interesting information about uh, their favorite actor, or about new cuisine recipes, or any other interesting research that they could become interested in it. So, um, which means that newspaper and articles contain not only hot topics, but also some of, uh, some of the topics of uh, personal interest of, pe of people. The second one uh, is about, uh, the next uh, feature that we would really like to pay attention to is about linguistic characteristics. So, topic se sentence is important to get across the point the author wants to make which means that uh, by uh, writing a topic sentence, we are informing the whole uh, reading uh, audience about the um, events that we are going to report in the event, in the newspaper, and uh, about the things that we are simply going to um, talk in the structure of the article. Research studies or backup sources from the academic field are usually found. Uh, if, we, if the article is of a uh, research character, then probably we do need to give some numbers or figures so that to prove um, that the research is truthful. Uh, so in this case, uh, after, you know, we can give an example like um, um, Marine, um, US Marine uh, found um, New species, new species of life in um, in the ocean. So in this case, um, for the second uh, point here, we could uh, provide the readers with some up back with some backup information about the other events when uh, U.S. or other countries' uh, marine services uh, have found any of new species in the ocean. Um, the third is about very clear and explicit titles and standpoints that are shown. People uh, will know exactly what the article is about by just reading the title. So uh, this is simply about um, the headlines that we, we have already talked about. So for the headline, the people need to know that 
this is um, like U.S. marine or new species in the ocean that could really attract their attention and then they could go and uh, buy and read this uh, article. Uh, they are commonly written in uh, passive words, which means like um, was found or were uh, delegated, um, were reported, which means um, like uh, the, in this case no one is responsible for the actions happening as uh, probably lots of people are involved in this action. That's why we uh, really limit ourselves by um, writing the article in passive. Narration, exposition, and description are examples in feature writings. So um, usually when you write an article, you probably need to narrate some of the um, parts or you need to describe uh, certain characteristics uh, of the things that you are reporting in your newspaper article. Uh, format uh, of layout. So uh, usually they um, happen in paragraph format or they can be in point, point form. The most, um, mostly we can see them in paragraph formats. And each of the paragraphs in each newspaper article uh, have their own um, functions. So um, which means that each new paragraph introduces a new argument to the article and uh, the people need to be really, the people writing articles need to be really careful about not expanding too much their paragraphs. Because newspaper articles need, um, tend, need to be really short but informative. Ways of organizing information. So seeking facts, experts, statistics, figures. This is one way, especially for research articles. Uh, we do need to provide the audience with lots of facts. Uh, with, with the opinions of different experts, probably uh, give uh, different statistics and reflect on them, uh, different figures that could uh, assure people that the type of information you are presenting in your newspaper article is true. Uh, usually it also contains general background information, like definitions, why the author is going to talk about arguments of this particular topic and agreeing with it. Um, it will be really interesting for the audience to find out why the author is interested in this particular topic. What, what, what are his reasons for doing this or that? And then probably agreeing or disagreeing with him. Uh, newspaper articles are one type of, uh, one, uh, type of uh, text that uh, usually uh, raise lots of discussions and lots of um, opinions among the audience. So in this case, uh, having the author's uh, point of view in the article itself would be really helpful. The nature and extent of the facts. So the facts um, need to have some background information and they need to be proven by some um, backup information so that um, it, uh, could, it couldn't be considered as taken from nowhere but uh, probably some of the authoritative sources need to be given like um, New York Daily Times or any academic sources uh, so that the audience could believe in the facts that we are um, stating in our newspapers. Arguments of pros and cons. It is really, really important to consider different uh, viewpoints as uh, different people will be reading our articles. That's mm -hmm. why um, while writing a newspaper article, it is really important for the author uh, not to state only his viewpoint, but also probably seek different uh, cons uh, for his opinion and uh, try to uh, say that uh, although he thinks so, but he doesn't exclude some of the contradictory facts that could be true towards uh, the information that he is providing the audience with. Interviews with people will usually be included in a feature article. It will give a real life to an article and it will um, assure again the reading audience that the, article, the type of article that you are writing is a truthful one and for that you, you have gathered the information from uh, really living people and it could again um, rate the quality of your article. Um, and there are some other characteristics as, as there is a clear cut stand Arguments are supported by facts. 
pictures about the, that particular feature you say will be accompanied by the words. There is usually a paragraph to summarize the whole story at the beginning of the article. So um, it is again uh, done in order to uh, help to busy people so that they could, uh, uh, they could read only the first paragraph and then uh, get the whole information about the whole story uh, and then just to stop reading the article. But it doesn't mean that um, this, uh, artic this paragraph will limit uh, the audience from um, taking a real pleasure of reading the whole article. Instead, it could um, probably say that the paragraph uh, is uh, written really professionally. So um, I am going to provide you with one article uh, as the main topic of our uh, today's presentation is about natural disasters. Um, there will be um, an article about a flood which happened in Nigeria and which um, actually brought lots and lots of different um, consequences, especially unhappy consequences for the population, for the economy of the country. So uh, the article is quite long. This is about um, 1,000 or even more words. That's why uh, I decided to get only the first part. And uh, I really hope that uh, there is a paragraph summarizing the whole story because this is uh, the beginning. So let's, uh, look, let's have a look at, the, at an article and see um, whether uh, it contains the main parts that we were talking about. So, flood. Is Nigeria awaits release of water from Lagda Dam? Uh, as you can see, the um, title or the headline is really uh, short. This is about one sentence or even this is, this is a longer phrase rather than a sentence. So, um, you can see the main word, flood. So um, by seeing this word, the uh, reader already knows this, this is about the, the key words here, flood and Nigeria, um, informs the reader that this article is going to be about a flood in Nigeria, which is a really hot topic at, the same, uh, uh, at a given moment of time. That's why they are already attracted by these two words and they, they are going to read the article. Um, uh, further, you can see the authors which is also really um, important because sometimes um, if uh, the, there is a constant reader who usually follows up one, uh, one newspaper, uh, he's uh, quite familiar with the people working in there and uh, he has his own um, um, favorites, let's say so. Um, and in this case, um, this information could also tell the, um, help the reader with a, uh, to to decide whether to read or not to read the article. Let's go further. Uh, let's read the first uh, paragraph and decide whether it um, gives us the whole information about the whole article or not. This indeed is a time to be dread for Nigerians living in states and communities along the river Benue, following the recent warning by the National Emergency Management Agency, NEMA, of the danger of heavy flooding as Cameroon prepares to release excess water from the lag the dam. A release quoting the director general, direct, uh, Muhammad Sani Sidi, informed that the Cameroonian authorities and Karwa have indicated that between now and November 2015, there would be routine release of water from the Lagda Dam due to excessive amount of water presently contained in the dam. So uh, we can uh, get lots and lots of information from this, especially the back background information that uh, flooding in Nigeria um, uh, isn't happening right now, but it could happen because uh, another country, Cameroon, is going to release the water from a dam, like Um You can see a very um, authoritative agency here, which is National Emergency Management Agency, which is also a very good information, and this um, helps to help the audience to understand that this is a very authoritative uh, article. And again, uh, we can see here the name of, a, of an official person uh, who is a director general, Mohamed Sani Sidi. Uh, and um, there is a quote by him, which again is very good for the article to be uh, professional and truthful. Let's go further. Sani Sidi therefore warned 
all those living around the dam and along river Benhill in Karwa, up to Nigeria side, should be alert and be ready for evacuation in case of possible flooding. Again, um, this quote helps us uh, to uh, form our opinion because uh, this is not something happening unexpectedly. Uh, Director General is actually saying that this could happen, that's why all the people living around the river need to be really careful and probably evacuate themselves in case of possible flooding. To this effect, governors of the affected states, state emergency management agencies, first respondents and relevant authorities were enjoined not only to alert communities at risk, but also make adequate preparation for possible evacuation of such endangered communities. So, um, because we have uh, all the facts, like uh, the fact of informing the people beforehand, uh, the fact of um, different uh, government and non-government organizations who are uh, preparing themselves and preparing the communities to be evacuated from such uh, places, we can uh, form out our own opinion that this is not a, um, this is not a natural disaster that could uh, happen unexpectedly, but people are doing uh, this uh, themselves and um, everything is prepared for the flood coming, which is, um, which forms a positive opinion about the whole thing. And also the, uh, they've provided us with a picture of uh, Lake Dudam. And um, for me, this picture um, gives, especially the, the small uh, picture, the small uh, people in the air, um, actually assures me in the fact that this is something really um, dangerous happening because the dam is huge. That's why um, the, the words that are said by both Director General and by different agencies um, are really important and the people need to evacuate themselves urgently. So, uh, as you may see, uh, these two paragraphs uh, contain um, the whole information that we are going to, that uh, the authors further uh, are going to talk. And I uh, can only suggest, I can only suppose that further probably the authors are going to give um, more detailed information about the whole process, how the, how different agencies are going to evacuate and what is going to happen um, in order to make the flood uh, more, um, less dangerous for the, for endangered communities. So this is it. Uh, and um, to conclude uh, our today's uh, presentation, I would like to give top 10 tips for writing a newspaper report by, and it is actually uh, advised by first news editor, Nick, Nikki Fox. So the first one that we need to pay attention to is about choosing an interesting event or happening to write about, which is um, quite interesting because um, busy people, especially uh, people of current times, don't read uh, anything that is not uh, clearly, directly related to their life, so probably that is, which isn't uh, urgent and hot. That's why uh, <coughs> we need to choose other, either the uh, most interesting thing that could uh, really attract most of the groups of people or uh, the event that is happening at a given moment of time that could be really, really important for the people to know. The first paragraph should tell the whole story in as few words as possible, so that even if someone reads no further, they will know what has happened. So this is uh, simply about the um, uh, first paragraph summarizing the whole information that is um, presented in the whole article. Um, and, uh, but here we um, need a different opinion rather than uh, we talked before. So if uh, before we talked that the first paragraph need to contain as uh, much information as possible here, mm, they say that um, few, uh, in a few words. So it actually depends on a type of uh, article and uh, on a layout that you, would, uh, you are planning to place your article. If this is a small range article, then probably few words will be uh, enough. But if you're going to write a detailed newspaper article, then you need to make your first paragraph um, as much informative as this is possible. 
Add more detail to the report over the next few paragraphs, putting the most important information near the top. If reports end up being too long for the newspaper, they should always be able to be cut from the bottom. Which means um, if uh, suddenly the uh, administration of the newspaper uh, decides to shorten your article, uh, it mustn't anyhow harm your, uh, the, the content of your article and you, you would have a chance to tell the audience about the main important um, facts in this, uh, in, uh, and uh, for, the, uh, for, for the sake of this, you need to, uh, again, use the pyramid that we've already talked about. Uh, make sure that your report answers the six W, H, and H questions. The, fir the first one is about what happened, when did it happen, why did it happen, where did it happen, who did it happen to, and how did it happen. So what, when, why, where, who, and how are the main six questions that every uh, writer of an article needs to be guided by so that um, the article could be informative, full, and uh, useful. Try to include some quotes in your report. You might need to interview someone for, you, for it. This will make your story more interesting. So uh, as, you may, as you've already noticed from the uh, extract of the article, uh, the quotes uh, could um, make your article more balanced, uh, less biased, and then probably it will help the reader to uh, believe that your article is really truthful and it, is, uh, it uh, contains not just your opinion but uh, the uh, opinions and viewpoints of different experts. Don't waffle or make the report too long. Keep the sentences short and punchy. Yeah, this is another uh, good feature of the article. This is not a scientific essay or an academic writing piece. That's why um, all the sentences need to be really short and informative. Read back over your report to make sure that it all makes sense. Um, this is a very good uh, tip for proofreading. So um, not always uh, the things written from the first hand could be um, quite useful. That's why we need to read back and probably um, make any changes or amendments to our, uh, to our newspaper. We need to check our facts. They must be biased and they must be truthful. We need to give some backup information or source on, on our facts. And uh, then we need to check our spelling. Uh, newspaper article is uh, probably the most readable material among all the other text types. That's why um, even small spelling mistakes could uh, make some of the readers really angry with the author and it could probably um, negatively uh, form a negative opinion uh, about the proficiency of the author of the article. And finally, uh, we need to think of a good headline for our report that will grab the attention of the readers and will make them want to read it. Um, so in this case, we would um, like to say that in order to uh, make up a really successful headline, you need to write your article first. And then probably from the article, you can somehow deduce the title. Don't, never start from the title. Title needs to go as the last, despite the fact that title is the very first thing that grabs the attention of the reader. So simply this is all about the presentation for today about writing a newspaper article. If you have any other questions, uh, we will um, meet in the future sessions. Thank you for your attention.